Um, hi uh, guys, welcome to another installment of uh, Audi BMS uh, DBA Flow. Uh, it's been a while, and basically, um, so this is what I, this is what I uh, wanted to do a recording on, which is the uh, Oracle software utilities, uh, which are basically just um, command line utilities that you can use uh, basically on your. You know, on your prompt, you know, if you're on Windows, you know, to the command prompt, or if you are uh, on Linux, uh, you can use and again to just the regular, um, you know, just a, you know, just a regular, uh, you know, uh, prompt, um, you know, in your Linux environment. So uh, <coughs> I'm not going to go into um, the all the commands specifically, but I'm just gonna, do, you know, I'm gonna post this list again on the dis discussion se section for my channel. Uh, so uh, if you if you basically have time, you can go there to you know, to look at all the commands. So let's get started. So the first command um, basically is the the ADRCI. This is the diagnostic repository command, command interpreter. Basically, you can use this to manage the diagnostic data for your Oracle databases. Um, and again, so you can include incident and problem descriptions. Um, you, you can and again, so it's and again, so just this is all included in the report actually. So it shares files, alert log entries, and dumps, and etc. Health monitor. So ADRCI, ADR you can use this on your um from your uh from your command line prompt and just type it in and and hopefully you'll be able to uh you know do a little bit more research to figure out what uh what exactly you need to you know have a um, you know. You know, just, just, just uh, you know what the command is. Just do research on how it's gonna apply to your, um, to your, um, to basically the function you you try to do, you try to perform. Uh, you also have uh, AGT CTL. Uh, it's an Xbox. Uh, I'm trying to just make it, you know. So it just it's taking configuration information from the command line and writes it to your control file. So that's what ADT CTL does. Um, uh, let me see. ASMCMD, the search you use for uh, your ASM instance, um, you can use this to uh, basically uh, you know, uh, navigate to the files. Uh, to, 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 your, yeah, to, the, to the disk, um, to, to, to the ASM disk, and eventually your files. Um, actually, yeah, actually, the, the, actual, the, the actual name is disk groups and not just disk. Um, and you also have ASM tool. You actually use stamp the disk. Uh, so if you are on a, um, if you're on a, um, you know, if, if you're on Windows, you can um, use ASM tool to, to stamp a, um, a raw or a uh, or just a anti you know, NTFS, um, you know, uh, sort of uh, storage space or, or, or drive. Uh, and then basically that's how, that's basically how you deal with uh, uh, have a uh, have yourself an ASM disk, which you would eventually convert into, a, you know, uh, uh, yeah, which you would eventually use as a, uh, you know, as a member of your ASM disk groups, disk group, I mean. So you also have um, ASM2 uh, GD section, the GUI form of ASM2, uh, also you run this uh, to be able to uh, access, to be able to, uh, you know, perform the same function, which is to stamp your disk. Uh, um, and again, so with ASM, you gotta get familiar with these words, uh, disk, uh, partitions, or raw devices. And also, one thing I should also place here is um, NTFS, which basically is just a file system, NTFS drive. Oh, yeah. yeah, let me just say NTFS drive. Yes. Um, which is just your the file system. So if I even on my own, my own OS, if I was to go to uh, you know if I want if I want to stamp a disk for my my ASM disk group, I would just uh, you know do that to option NTFS uh, drive or uh, a raw device. Um, okay, so let me go to the next one. Um, uh, CF was undocumented. Uh, Cloud file is actually used for back installation. Um, so it. What you use it for is perform system checks uh, before uh, before registration of upgrade or patching operations. Um, but if I, I should actually have if I go to my if 
probably go to, uh, let me see. Okay, let me go to computer. Actually, no. Let me go to desktop. And I need to find. Uh, just give me one second. My thing on computer just froze. Okay, so I was saying, uh, if you go to, I have, I have my grid here. If you go to here, you're gonna find out what a profile is. Basically, so run profile is for basically your overall grid software. Profile should be for your, um, basically that you run at the, um, at the, uh, you know, at the, at the lower level, which is also to that to the, uh, the nodes or the database or the, uh, the nodes which are uh, open instances. So uh, you also have uh, CMTTL. Uh, this is this is something that I you know that I myself haven't used. Uh, but basically, um, you know, do some research. Uh, basically, you can use this to manage your Oracle Connection Managers. Uh, again, you can go to the different process that you have. You have CM Ad CM Admin, which is a Connection Manager Administration, and you have CMGW, which is a Connection Manager Gateway Process. Administration process. So basically, um, and again, this is how you will word, a com word uh, the uh, the command cmctl uh, put a command, uh, and then you put uh, cman or uh, cm. I'm going to what cm and cman stand for. Uh, cm. Basically, you use cm to administer the. Uh, the CMGW administrative process and you use CMAN to administer the, uh, both the CM the CM administration process and the CM management manager cable process. Um, and then you also have CM CTL ADM. Um, so basically these are um, and again this is a utility that basically you know you know as a uh you know it's a uh it's a very, and again so just just you know this is an option that you have if you're you know while you're monitoring your um your your database environment uh you also have cmr cmigr um okay so i'm not i'm not that's my net me migrate and file uh, to okay so what I'll do is I'm going to just and again so CLC2L is actually your cluster work control. Uh, so an example would be CRSCTL check CRS or CRS CTL um, that resource. Uh, you can also do these are optional. Just leave it as it as as this, um, or you can hit T. So this is what you find most commonly on the web, um, but you don't have to put these in. These are just optional. Because you see, you get the same you get the same results set. Uh, on on either on either um, on either uh, environment, uh, no, no, uh, no, on on either on either uh, command. So you, if I also go to my um, go to my uh, command prompt, if I was to do a um, CRCTL, and if I was to do let's say check CRS, let's say CRS is probably not available right because I don't have a feedback uh, config. config configure it. I don't have a, a rack installation uh, set up on my um, on my you know on my system so but if I do CRCTL check CSS this piece gonna the synchronization service is actually should be available for 
uh, when you are on a uh, basically on a standalone server this is what I have and you can also do CRCTL check uh, as high availability service should also be available uh, you can also do a just a command that I, showed you, I just showed you a little bit uh, a little not too long ago um, CRCTL um, let me see and which where did I go? Okay, there you go. Uh, so it's gonna be stat <coughs> resource. So these are the, the uh, basically current um, all resources that I have. Oh, and again, so if you look at the, the naming, so all that uh, CSSD, these are all different processes, but you refer to them also as resources. Uh, CRCTL. Uh, this is what I was trying to tell you earlier. So if you do stat. Whereas, and if you do init or you do or you do t, it's going to give you basically it's going to give you more information, but basically it's just the same the same information that I already had available previously. So um, it's up to you to choose uh, which uh, which command you want to use. Okay, uh, you have a uh, CIS uh, CIS setup uh, festival setup. You have um, let me actually scroll down. You have DBCA, which is Database Configuration Assistant. You have DBUA, Database Upgrade Assistant, DB Verify. Um, uh, I will. This is um. This is actually so. The reason why I wanted to make this uh, this video tutorial is I came across this, this DBV DBV utility, right? And I went on my on my system, and I was on it. Okay, I didn't know what 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 it was used for. Um, so and then that's how I got into you know figure out trying to figure out uh, what are all, what how many um, the different types of uh, Oracle software you that you have available you know at the you know from the command line. Um, so DB uh, verify I do not have a definition here, but what I'll do is I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna I'm gonna find a definition for it and then post it on um, you know again it's gonna be available in the discussion section uh, for the channel. Uh, you have DGMGRL, which is the data guard manager. So you can use this is used actually for uh, uh, basically if you have a data guard broker that's configured, uh, broker configurations that, that are configured on your on your you know on your data guard um, for your data guard environment. Uh, you have uh, uh, EXPDP. Let me see. Yes, EXPDP. This is data pump uh, export. Uh, you see export database objects, schemas, the whole databases. Um, and then you have IMPDP, which is basically which is the uh, the import uh, the import uh, just a, just used to import. Uh, it's a import. It's a import, and it's used to import uh, database objects, schemas, and also uh, all, all databases. And then you have these um, LDAP uh, commands here at the bottom. Uh, basically, these um, basically you would. And again, so depending on what what you what your requirements are for your environment, you you know you uh, you may or may not have to run into these uh, these uh, uh, command line utilities, but uh, yes, you, you know just just know that these are available um, you know to help you manage your your um basically your your uh, or group setup. Uh, you also have LSN RCTL, which is just listener control, and you can use this to uh, create and manage listener services. Uh, and then you have TNS uh, LSNR that exe, uh, which is a uh, this is just a, a process, uh, local process is associated with uh, local uh, listeners, and one at the OS level. And let me see, uh, you also have if you just scrolling down, you also have. Uh, you have Opatch, which is a patching utility. You can use this to apply the software patches to an existing installa installation. You also have uh, ODM. You can use this to create uh, Windows services, uh, which are basically your Oracle processes. Uh, the command is uh, ODM new uh, SID, uh, and then you put in the extension name or Windows service. And you can also put your. You have uh, additional parameters, but uh, just um, do. You know, just a little bit more, a little bit more research on on how on how you you know how uh, configured you like to have your uh, your your, win, your instance as you're creating as you're going through the creation process. Uh, you also have Oracle, um, and this is just your sessions. 
you have OPWD uh, create this is used to create uh, and manage uh, password uh, files you have um, you have Omen of course which is a recovery manager uh, basically this is you use this uh, utility to basically administer your um, basically first of all your, your, your recovery manager agent your recovery manager um, but also your, your target databases your backups your backups uh, your restores uh, pretty much anything related to um, disaster recovery or you know just um, you know uh, disaster recovery standard uh, you will probably just uh, have to you know have to work on you know uh, have, have to work with all men um, and again just uh, you know and just to, just to make sure that you, your environment is highly available and recoverable um, you also have SQL loader uh, which is just used to uh, load data into a uh, into a site which it uh, into a, um, a database site um, you have SQL plus uh, and when I say database size, by the way, I just mean just a regular database, okay? So I'm the, I don't want to confuse you anyway. So it's just if you have database A, you have database B. If you wanted to load data uh, data from database into database B, you use SQL Loader. Uh, SQL Plus is actually a command line uh, utility. So if I come to my command line here, uh, SQL Plus is basically it's as easy as typing in SQL Plus. Basically, so you have to put in your credentials, of course, and then for you to be able to access, uh, access your um, access the uh, basically just connect connect to the, to the, uh, the system. I mean, connect to the database and be able to administer the database. You also have uh, you have take your path, uh, OCO utility again. Um, basically, you have to enable uh, tracing on your database. Uh, basically, so. For example, if you uh, and again, so if you want to see my SQL traces go through, basically all the all the activities or SQL transaction uh, in within the database are going to be reported, and you can use the path to basically uh, uh, to create uh, human readable statistics for these uh, activities. Uh, so it's going to give you it's going to give you more information. Um, you know, uh, it's going to go into um, you know uh, you know uh, how long the how long how long the query took. Uh, to perform, um, you know, uh, what classes were involved. Um, so it's more, uh, it's more technical, but definitely you would, you would want to analyze this uh, if you're looking to do some sort of performance tuning or just perform enhancing for your database. Uh, you also have TNS ping. This is actually used just to ping, um, you know, uh, uh, services. So if I, if I want to ping, if I want to figure out. If I'm on, uh, and again, so this is probably a bad example, but if I had to go back to what I said earlier about, you know, database, data, database, database, so if I knew, uh, if I, if I install those two databases, right, and we felt what I wanted to do is, is to, um, uh, is to basically, uh, figure out if, 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 if they exist, then I would just do a TNS ping, I would do a TNS ping database DBA. Or DB actually database underscore A, or this is just give my first TNS ping and I'll, or database uh, underscore B. So you use this to uh, basically to uh, confirm that your service is up and running, uh, and now we can identifiable. Um, and then you also have. So basically, these are just uh, just regular utilities, um, and actually, I think there might be overlap with these computers. Uh, use of utilities, you know, basically from the you know, at, at just more of a more of an OS level. So um, yes, so definitely there's the overlap with the with the command here at the bottom. So uh, what I'll do is I am going to um, yeah. So this is it. Um, and again, if we can find these commands um, or these software utilities at, uh, at, the, at the discussion section for the channel. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.